It takes a lot of time to convert the analysis presented in Stata to a style that is acceptable by research journals. In this video, we are going to cover a user written command called ASDoc that would help us quickly convert the analysis table from Stata into a nicely formatted tables in a Word file. So let's get started. ASDoc is a user written command and it is used to convert the table from Stata into MS Word. It currently can only be used with MS Word and not with Excel or any other format. Although this command can be used for correlation table, summary statistics, frequency distribution, but in this video we are going to cover just the regression analysis and the rest will be covered in other videos. We have loaded the auto dataset using this command. So let's first understand the syntax of this command. The syntax of ASDoc is quite simple and this is where it stands out from other commands such as outrack2 or est out. We just have to write the ASDoc as a prefix to any regression command that we want to output. So we write the ASDoc, then the command or the regression command or summary statistic command that we want to use. And then after comma, we input all the options whether they are related to ASDoc command or the regression command that we are using. And this by sort variable name is optional and it just means that this command is viable and we can output regression table for different categorical or categories or group variable. When using ASDoc, we can output regression table in three different formats. The full regression table, the nested regression table, or the wide regression table. In this video, we are just going to cover the full and the nested regression table. And we will explore the wide regression table in another video. Starting with the full regression table. This is the regression command that we are going to run. Although in this case we are simply using the OLS regression, but it can work the same way with other regression models. Let me remove the asdoc command first to give you a better idea. So in, this is our simple regression command and we want to regress our dependent variable price on mileage and the repair variable. We simply add the asdoc prefix. To this command and that's it. That's how simple this ASDoc is. This is how the table would look like. Now this don't look like a format that would be acceptable by a research journal. But it is a quite convenient way to store results or I would say to store full results, compare tables, share them with your co-authors. And if I run another regression with the ASDoc prefix, it would add another table to the same file and it would keep on adding tables to the same file. I will discuss it in a while how to save it in another file. For now, I just want to focus on the basic idea of ASDoc. If in case I didn't wanted the confidence intervals, I would use the no CI option. And that would not record any confidence interval in the tables. Now there are tons of options that enhance the capability of ASDoc and I will discuss them in the nested regression table section. Almost all the options that would work with nested regression table would also work with full regression table. So let's move to nested regression table. Nested regression tables are the most commonly format of regression table that are reported in research journals. If you want to use nested regression table, we just add the word nested or for short nest. In this command, I have added a bunch of other options as well. And let me first explain them. The save option is used to give a specific file name where results would be stored. In this case, I want to store the results in the MS Word document, 
by the name of new file. The replace option is used to delete any previously saved file by the name of new file and save a fresh copy with the results of this command. This is how the result look like. We have one column. We have the coefficients, the standard error. The significance are denoted by the sterics. And we have number of observations and R square. This is the default look of nested regression table with AS doc. And we can improve it. Normally in Stata, when we add options after comma, then we do not need to have space between the comma and the option. But due to some issue with this specific command, we have to add a space after comma. So if you encounter an error or AS doc is not allowing certain options, then this is the first thing that you would want to look. Now, if instead of replacing the previous file, I wanted to add a new column to previously stored regression table, then I would use the append option instead of the replace option. Keep in mind that the file name should be same, otherwise it would create a new file. So in this case, the file name should be similar to the one that I have used previously, where I want to append the results. In this word file, you can notice the results are nicely appended to a new column. And this is because of the append option. But we would like to further improve them by having two digits after decimal points instead of three in this case. We are again executing the same commands, but, but in this time we, I have added a new option called decimal or DEC and within parentheses I have written a number and this option would limit the number of decimal digits after decimal point. Now you can see instead of three decimal points or varied decimal digits, we have a nicely formatted table with just two decimal digits. By default, the title of column would be the dependent variable name. They don't make quite a lot of sense. We want to give a better title. Say we want to add the word model 1 and model 2 in the column headers. The option that we can use for this purpose is C names. It stands for column names. And within parentheses, we write the word that we want to appear as column header. The rest of the command is same. We have just added the C names option. You would notice that now the columns have header. That would make more sense to the reader. If we want to change the font size of column header, we can use backslash followed by FS, which stands for font size. And then we can write the font size that we want our headers to have. The same can be done with titles. Talking of titles, we also want to add title to our tables and that can be done using title option. Just write the title option and within parentheses input whatever title you want the regression table to have. In this case, our regression table should have a title of regression analysis. This is how it would look like. If we don't want the title at all, we can use the title option with a backward slash in parentheses and that would not display any title in the MS Word file. We sometimes want to report T statistics instead of standard error. And this is the option that we would use. With this option, instead of standard error in the parentheses, we would have the T statistics. Now in this case, these are the T statistics. Remember, it is significant at 1%. In this case, it is significant at 10%. And the same goes for this one. It is also significant at 1%. Now you would see that by default, asdoc command would report the variable names. But variable names are not descriptive. Uh, that is due to the inbuilt restrictions of, by Stata. Say, for example, we cannot have spaces in variable names. And due to these types of restrictions, variable names are not much descriptive. And it wouldn't make better sense. 
the better idea would be to use labels instead of variables name in our publications. So the idea is to first define labels for the variables and then we use the label option in AS doc to use labels in the regression table instead of the variable names. So in this case you would have noticed that the variable name had been replaced by variable labels and they are more descriptive. Sometimes when we are working with dummy variables or specifically in case of fixed on random effect, we want to specify whether we used a cross-sectional dummy or ear dummies in our regression. Any regression command would not generate this output by default. We would have to add them. And we use the add option in ASDoc for this purpose. This add option would add additional rows of text at the bottom of the table. We write the add, open the parenthesis, then within the parenthesis we first write the legend, then we write the text that would appear in the column next to it, then again the legend and then the value that would appear. This is how it would look like. The legends are in the first columns and the values that we had are in the second column. We can also add additional statistics using stat option. In this case, we want to report adjusted R square and the F statistics. The adjusted R square and the F statistics are appearing at the end of the table. We can report any other statistics, but for that we need to know the macro or the variable name where Stata stores the results. To find the macro details, we either use the written list command and these are the macros. Remember, we just had the adjusted R square and the F statistics and this is the macro that we used. Or alternatively, we can go to the help file of the regression command that we used. In this case, we have used the regress command. We would scroll down to the section where it says stored results and these are the macros. Remember, we just used the adjusted R square. Now there are two other options, the drop and the keep variable options and they are used to keep or drop a variable for which we do not want the results to be displayed in the MS Word file. In this case, I am running the regression where I have a dependent variable of price, the independent variable of mileage, repair and the trunk. But I want to drop the mileage and although the regression would be run, the mileage would be there in the regression results, but it won't be reported in the MS file. Similarly, we can use the keep option. So instead of this time telling it to report the, to drop the mileage variable, we want it to report the repair and the trunk variable. So it would automatically drop the mileage variable, which, which is left by. There are tons of other options that we can use with ASDoc, but the last option that I'm going to focus in this video is font size and font style. We can use FS, we can use FS to specify the font size and the font option to, to type any specific font style. So in this case, the output would have the Arial font style and the size would be 12. By default, it uses 10 size and the style is Gremmond. We also have FHR which stands for Format Row Header and FHC which stands for Format Column Headers and within the parenthesis we can write some RTF controls. Some of the RTF controls are mentioned in the help file of ASDoc but you can google for more controls. Use of RTF control can take ASDoc to a whole new level. Please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You will get a notification as soon as we upload a new video. Also leave a comment in the comment box below for a recommendation or any suggestions that you would like to give.